Hi everyone, I'm Sam Lazarus, Creative Director for Rococo, and in this video we're going to walk through how to get started in the new Rococo Studio Beta. We'll get our smart suit and smart gloves connected, we'll update some firmware, and then we'll record and export some mocap. We'll also take a quick tour through the new Livestream plugin workflow. Let's jump into it. Before we get started, we should just note again that we are currently in an early beta for Rococo Studio. So we're still working out the kinks. And if you have a really important project, we recommend just using Rococo Studio Legacy, which you can still download from our website and is super stable. So I've downloaded Rococo Studio Beta and here I have it open. The first thing you'll see is this welcome window and we'll click sign in with browser. A browser window will pop up and if you already have a Rococo ID, you can just enter it in here. If you don't have one, you can click sign up, fill in some info and create your account. If we hop back to studio at this point, here we are, we have the main interface for studio. The first thing to notice is these question marks in the bottom corner of studio, which you can use to find our feedback portals. This is a beta after all. It's also good to note that Rococo Studio now takes advantage of the cloud, so you can log into Rococo Studio from any computer connected to the internet and have access to all of your mocap files. So already by looking at this interface, a lot has changed. And let's take a look at what we have. By clicking the logo in the top left, you can get access to some settings, including resolution scale. I'm actually going to set mine to 1.5. Over here on the right, you can see all the details of our Rococo ID and our team. If we hop back over to that browser window in our team dashboard, here you can do things like add face capture, which I've added to this account, or change the plan we're on. This account is on the plus plan, but the starter plan, which is free, allows for up to 250 assets and also offers 15 minutes of live streaming a day, which you didn't have access to at all in Rococo Studio Legacy. If you plan on VTubing or doing something that requires constant live streaming to our plugins, you'll need to upgrade to the Plus plan. However, 15 minutes a day is plenty of time to test your workflows or even record some live mocap data into Unreal, iClone, Cinema 4D, or any of the other programs. Back in Studio, if you ever want to access your Rococo ID account, you can just click on your icon and select Account Settings. Okay, so now let's start a new project and record some mocap. First, I will add a new project. And then I will create a scene within that project. Boom, once you're done, a scene window will pop up. And if you notice, we have a tab open up here on the top left. This is one of the big new changes in Studio Beta. If we go back to our projects, we can create a new scene within our project. And now we have two separate projects open at the same time. This new format should make it easier to navigate between all your different mocap scenes. So if we jump back into the scene we've created, how do we connect up some mocap hardware? So I'll start by plugging my SmartSuit Pro 2 into the computer via the USB-C connection in the hub at the back of the SmartSuit. We'll get this little prompt up here by our device manager. I'll hit ignore and I'll actually just click into the device manager. And here we have the suit that I just plugged in. So I've already configured the suit, so it's showing up as both a Wi-Fi connection and over a wired USB connection. If you haven't set it up yet, you'll just have the wired connection. And if we click on that, we'll get some suit info, we'll get some Wi-Fi information and firmware information. And if your firmware isn't up to date, you'll want to update it through this window. However, make sure not to unplug your suit or gloves while updating your firmware. After you've updated your firmware, you'll go back to the Wi-Fi section, and here you can pair your suit with the Wi-Fi network you're using. If you click on the little magnifying glass and then twirl down the options, you should be able to see all the available Wi-Fi networks. Select yours, enter your password, then select your receiver IP, it's usually the top option if there are multiple ones, but you might have to try both. Then under advanced settings, select your security type. And I'll also select 2.4 because I know my router is on the 2.4 gigahertz band. After doing all that, your button should turn blue and you can select apply. 
So you'll need to set up each smart glove in the same way. The workflow is the exact same as with the suit. Plug in the smart glove, go through the process of updating the firmware, and then set up your Wi-Fi. Here I've set up and connected my suit and gloves. And because I'm using a new SmartSuit Pro 2, I'll also just make sure that boost mode is enabled. If I go back into the device manager and double click on my suit, I can toggle on boost mode, which will allow me to stream my mocap at up to 200 frames a second. So boost mode on, suit and gloves connected, but obviously something doesn't look right here. And that's because I still need an actor profile. So I'll go to add to scene and I will add actor. Your actor profile is your digital avatar and it will interpret all of your real life movements into motion capture data. So I'll name it my name, select a color, and then I'll enter my height. So if you twirl down these options, you can also go in and add additional measurements, but we recommend starting with just your height and leaving the rest at default. If you do want to enter this info, you can find information on getting accurate measurements down here. When we're done, we will hit save. So now we just need to pair our live inputs with our actor profile. If we go and select our actor profile, we get some context dependent buttons that show up here at the top. We have a button to have the camera follow the actor. We can toggle the invisibility of this actor profile. We can edit our actor profile. And we can also pair or unpair. So if we pair all of our inputs, we get a few new buttons, including calibrate. So let's do that now. I'll stand with my feet under my hips and my hands at my sides. We call this the straight pose. And after the calibration is done, if I move around, this looks a lot more like it should. Right now we're in locomotion mode, but I can also go to the live filter button and enable treadmill mode, which will lock my character's hips into place. I'll turn off treadmill mode and now let's do a little recording, which you can start by hitting the big red button in the bottom left corner. Do a few movements, maybe a little jump. And when you're done, you can hit stop and the mocap recording will process. So once the recording is done processing, it will take us to the mocap clip we just created. To get back to the main recording screen, you can just hit back under animation clips. If we click back on that recording, here we have all of our mocap. So Rococo mocap works via the software knowing when each foot is in contact with the floor. And you can see that data visualized down here on the timeline. Each green bar represents the left foot being in contact with the floor and the blue bars represent the right foot. To see that data actually in the scene, we can click this little toggle down under our smart suit. In the middle of the timeline, we also have a few buttons that we can toggle on and off. We have locomotion, we can toggle on and off toe bend, or if we want, we can turn treadmill mode back on. So before we export this, we always wanna make sure to clean our data. If I scrub through here, for instance, I can tell that the software isn't picking up when my foot should be on the floor. So I can make an adjustment to the keyframe for the right foot, and Rococo Studio will adjust the mocap to more accurately match the action. We recommend always going through your clips and doing a little cleaning before export. Once you're done, you can go to the Export tab. Here we can select what we want to export. I'm going to do an FBX, and I'll toggle the body mesh in addition to the skeleton, and then I'll twirl down some more settings. And here I can choose what type and which version of FBX I want to export, as well as my FPS. Then I can just hit export. After we're done, I can hit open folder to navigate directly to where my mocap was stored. If I want to rename my clips before I export, I can just go to the clips, right click them and select rename. 
The last thing we'll cover quickly is the new location for the live plugins, which is right under the live stream tab. Here is a list of all the programs that we have live plugins for. And if I want to toggle live streaming on, I can just click the gear icon next to the plugin, add a port, and then toggle the plugin on. We have tons of tutorials on how to use all the live plugins, and Rococo Studio Beta will work in the same way that Rococo Studio Legacy did. So there we go, a very short but sweet walkthrough of the new Rococo Studio Beta. If you run into any issues, please visit the Rococo Discord or drop a comment below. And also watch out for more Studio Beta tutorials covering things like face capture and as we continue to bug fix and add new features. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.